Uh, hey everybody, at home with Greg again today. Uh, today I wanted to tell you a little about, about my picks for action flicks that you probably haven't seen on Netflix. Uh, now, Netflix is a great repository of movies, but the problem is when you log in, you get this. Uh, you know, and you're like, I've seen everything, or I don't know, there's nothing I want to see, or, you know, stuff like this. And I'm going to be doing a series of uh, videos that will help you pick something out. So the first movie is uh, Sin City, uh, Damned to Kill For. Now, this is the Sin City 2. Uh, it stars Jessica Alba, Eva Green, Mickey Rourke, Josh Brolin, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levy, and a whole bunch of others. Uh, many reprise their roles from the first one, although you do not need to watch, uh, you don't need to have watched the first one to enjoy this one. Uh, they're very, um, uh, they're very separate, even though they have the same characters. Um, and as you can see from these visuals, you know, every frame in this movie is just gorgeous. Uh, just like the first one, they do a really great job of visual visual visualization thank you very much um and they just have a lot of really cool scenes uh eva green is awesome as a the dame to kill for uh and uh very appropriate uh character um it's just a really good action flick uh and it's got some uh drama as well so if you know you're in the mood for something that's visually uh tasty uh, this is definitely the one for you. Um, and of course, we've got Mickey Rourke, uh, who reprises his role, uh, which is, he's just a great character. Uh, and I think you'll have some laughs and definitely along for a really fun ride with Sin City, A Dame to Kill For. Uh, the next movie on the list is going to be Everly. Now, Everly is this really good, I would say, like, what? What would happen if John Wick were a smoking hot Latina? Um, and this stars Selma Hayek as Everly. And it's a really great movie. I watched this thing on a whim. Um, and it's really well acted. There are some great scenes in here. Some really sad scenes. Um, so it really, it definitely gives a very much of an Asian flavor in this movie. Uh, Selma Hayek and the person who plays her mother, uh, Lauren Cepeda, do an amazing job, uh, as well as uh, Aki Kot uh, Kotabi and Togo, uh, Togo Igawa really play some great uh, characters in this. Uh, it's heartfelt, and I was so surprised when I saw this movie uh, that I never even heard about it in theaters. So definitely check this one out. Uh, it's really, really good movie. It's it's one of my highly recommended movies for sure. Uh, the next one comes along. This is Interview with a Hitman. This is Luke Gross, who I'm not really familiar with, uh, but this movie is really cool. Uh, it starts when he's a little kid uh, and how he comes up in the ranks to be a hitman, and he is a cold and ruthless dude uh, for sure. Uh, and he lives to regret the things he's done. Uh, it's got a really great twist ending. Uh, so I highly recommend it. Um, it's, it can be a little long in the tooth uh, at times, a little slow, but super good movie. Like I said, with a great twist ending, I know you'll like it. Uh, the next movie that comes on the list here is Firestorm. Now this stars Andy Lau, and this is my... Uh, you know, what happens when a good cop does really bad things for the right reasons? Uh, and that's exactly what this movie is. Um, you kind of watch a cop uh, go down the wrong path, and I can guarantee you there's going to be some uh, scenes in this movie that are just like, oh my god. Um, really rough scenes to watch, uh, really tragic, tragic scenes. Uh, but so good. Uh, if you really want a a uh, action movie that will make you misty, you know, bring a tear to your eye, it's definitely this one. Um, I, I really recommend a lot of Asian action films. They're not so simplistic as American ones, and I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, the last one on this is Wormwood. Now, this is an Australian movie that is just crazy. Um, 
it's kind of a zombie movie meets Mad Max. And again, you know, it's a it's a little bit of a B movie for sure. Uh, but a lot of the uh, visuals like this one, for instance, uh, are really great in this movie. They've got a lot of really weird, sick characters. Um, it, it, look, it is it a, you know, a high financed, you know, high budget movie? Not at all. But it's really, really great. And I really hope you enjoy it. So these are the my five uh, picks for action flicks on Netflix. And I hope you enjoy them. Please send your comments and let me know what you thought. Have a great day. Bye, guys.